Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Foundation for Excellence in Education's 2018 National Summit on Education Reform. To the more than 1,000 education leaders in the room, representing 47 states and Puerto Rico, I thank you for taking the time to be here this week. We have a really exciting two days in store for you. Regrettably, I won't be able to join you as my family and I lay our father to rest later today beside his beautiful bride of 73 years in their beloved College Station, Texas. He's the greatest man I'll ever know. And on behalf of my family, I sincerely thank you for the outpouring of well wishes and kind remembrances in the recent days. We are grateful beyond words. The reason Excel and Ed convened our inaugural summit 11 years ago was to serve as an exchange of cutting edge ideas. Our goal was and is to enable reformers to share new ideas with colleagues and likewise expose them to the innovative efforts of their peers across the country. I'm hopeful and excited about the reform opportunities that are ours to seize in the coming months and years. I'm hopeful because we have a generation of leaders, a lot of them right here in this room, who are committed to tearing down the barriers to an education system, innovative and adaptable enough to meet the unique needs of all students. I cannot overstate the urgency of our charge as education reformers. Earlier this year, the education reform community marked the 35th anniversary of the seminal A Nation at Risk report, the groundbreaking five alarm assessment of the failing state of our schools. 35 years later, our education system remains a threat to our nation. I thank you for embracing the challenge of transforming America's education system, but more importantly, I hope you embrace it with a rubber meets the road urgency that is rare in policymaking today. Our country can't afford another 35 years of hyperbolic rhetoric that disguises real life complacency. We can't afford five more years of it. I hope you come away from our summit introduced to all kinds of new ideas you can bring home with you, and I hope you in turn introduce them to your states, your cities, your districts, your schools, and your classrooms. And I hope you do it as quickly as you possibly can because our nation depends on it. On behalf of the board and the team at Excel and Ed, we look forward to supporting your efforts in every way possible in the coming year. Just remember, go big, be bold, and be impatient. God bless you all and God bless our exceptional country. I'll see you next year in San Diego.